Breaking news. Sunday Igboho announces fresh war with Fulani headsmen after they started stealing Yoruba children. Good morning everyone and thank you for tuning in and listening to this headline that we got to your hearings this morning. As our headline for this morning says that Breaking news. Sunday Igboho announces fresh war with Fulani headsmen after they started stealing Yoruba children. For most Yoruba Nation activists, Sunday Adeyemu, popularly known as Sunday Igboho, has declared that he came back to Yoruba land to face criminal Fulani headmen who have accused recent who have been accused recently of stealing Yoruba children in the southwest geopolit- geopolitical zone of Nigeria. It is no longer news that Igboho and Fulani headsmen in the southwest have been at loggerheads. With their later, with their later trying to put an end to the incident killings of farmers in Yoruba land. Speaking in a video after he returned to the southwest last week, Igbo said the Yorubas can't keep waiting for the army and the police to protect them from criminal headsmen. Last week, Igbo who rained curses on former president Muhammad Buhari, whom he accused of killing his mother, his sibling, and friends. Speaking during a visit to the to the place of the monarch of to the to visit to the palace of the monarch of Igboho town Igboho town in Oyo state Igboho also said the former president sent his operative to the department of state services dss and soldiers to assassinate him in his house the activists who spoke in yoruba said nigerians from the southwest region must come together to free the region from armed fulani headers and that buhari will mysteriously and Buhari will die mysteriously with his children. Buhari caused problem in my life. He killed my sibling. He killed my friends. He also killed my mother. He said he would die mysteriously with his children. Buhari is Fulani. It is we Yoruba people that should be careful. Recall that in 2021, Nigerian Secret Service, the Nigerian Secret Police, the State Security Service (SSS) confirmed that his um, operative stormed the home. Stormed the home. Igbohu in Ibadan in a bid to effect his arrest. Addressing journalists at the headquarters of the SSS, Peter Ayafuna, the services spokesman said 13 suspects, including a female and 12 male, were arrested. Premium Time reported how gunmen invaded Mr. Igbohu's house, located in um, Soka Ibadan, capital of Oyo State, around 1 a.m. on Thursday. His vehicle, including his G-Wagon, Prado Jeep, and awesome valuable properties, including furniture and windows, were reportedly destroyed and the attack occurred barely 72 hours to the planned rally in lagos by mr igbohu and other for the canvas in yoruba nation and that is all we have concerning this um, headline that we got to your earrings which says that sunday igbohu announces fresh war with fulani hensmen after they started shoots and um, stealing yoruba children no you guys had it right you guys had it very much right because he said the famous Yoruba activist on the Boho. He said that he came back to the Yoruba land. He came back to Nigeria, coming back to Yoruba land to face criminal Fulani handsmen who have been who, who have been accused of stealing children, kidnapping children in the southwest region of Nigeria, kidnapping children in this in the, in the southwest region of Nigeria, the Yoruba lands of Nigeria. Igbohu, normally Igbohu have, have declared that the Fulani, uh, Fulani headsmen should leave, leave the southwest, saying that we do not need you yet. You have not caused a lot of problems to our farmers. It is said that it is no longer news that Igbohu and Fulani headsmen in the southwest have been at loggerheads. It's true. They've been at loggerheads. They've been, they've been onto each other, fighting one another, insulting one another in one way or the other. Yes. And Igbo is just trying to defend the good people of the Southwest, saying that these Fulani elders said that since they came here, they've not brought in anything good to us. They only do, do all, all what they do is to to destroy, 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 and loot, destroy, kidnap, and loot, destroy and kidnap and loot. Last week, last week, while he was saying this, Igbo who rained courses on former President Muhammad Bari, he was cursing the president, former president of Nigeria, Muhammad Bari. Seeing that Buhari um, caused him all the bad things that is happening in his life, he said this during his, a visit to the palace of the monarch of Igbo Town in Oyo State. 
See that if Buhari sent operative to the to the DSS and soldiers to assassinate him in his house. Buhari sent operative from DSS to assassinate Igbohu in his house. And Igbohu, who spoke in Yoruba when he was saying all this, said that Nigerians from the southwest must come together to free the region. Saying that all Yoruba must come together to free the region from Aunt Fulani elders and that Buhari will die mysteriously with his children. So what kind of cause is that? That's, that's a very grief cause. Saying that Buhari will die mysteriously with his children. Saying Buhari caused a lot of problems in my life. He killed my children. He, uh, sorry, he killed my sibling. He killed my friend. He also killed my mother. Just one person who was wiping out his entire family. That's why he rained so much heavily causes on Buhari. He, this, this man really hates the, the former president of Nigeria. He really hates him. Not that he hates the former president of Nigeria. Not because he's the former president, but because of all the bad things he did to him. He also, he also said that Buhari is a Fulani man. Yes, the Fulani of the Fulani headmen are even doing much more harm in the south southwest region of Nigeria. Recall that in 2021, Nigerian Secret Service, Secret Police, this SSS, confirmed that its operatives stormed the home of Igbo in Ibadan to be the effect of the arrest under the under under the um, under the order of who Buhari under the order of who Buhari. The question is what the Igbo did that make Buhari so much furious that he, he had to eliminate um, eliminate all the members of his family. What did this man do to this former president, former president of Nigeria? Yes, just uh, let me see your own comments in the comment section concerning this. And don't forget to leave a like on this video. Then tap the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel, so the notification bell so that anytime I have any.